How's it going everybody? It's the Chicago Geographer here and welcome to another Country Spotlight. This is episode number 10 and today we are playing Denmark. Uh, this is a beautiful country and it kind of closes out the true Scandinavian trifecta of Norway, Sweden, and now Denmark. So I'm going to go ahead and set up our time limit, 3 minutes per round, that is the classic format for these Country Spotlights. And you guys can play along as well, the link is in the description. Uh, make sure you play along before watching, then come back here and check out the rest of the video. Alright, here we go. Denmark, Country Spotlight. Let's see how this is going to go. Alright, starting out here on what seems to be a coastal road. It seems kind of sandy. I might be wrong about that. I don't... what is that thing? My computer's telling me th crazy things. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, it does seem... Like there's some sort of sand nearby, so maybe we are close to the ocean. Might be wrong about that, but you never know. So let's keep moving here, look for some signs, some other clues, all that good stuff. And hopefully we can work out where we are. So we're heading west right now. Here we go, we've got some signposts. Um, Mellows is in three, and East is in four. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll go this way, south to Melos. Hopefully, um, it'll have some more directional signs in that town. And from there, we can kind of work out where we are. I'm not sure which part of the country this is going to be, though. Really not. Seems like we're getting closer to the town here. What's all this? This looks good. Okay, Hill Road. Okay, I've heard of that. Um, that is up here, I think. Yeah. So, that means if it's 8 to our east on the 16, then we're going to be kind of out here. There it is, Melos. Um, what was that other town called? Oh yeah, Anise, that's right. So, uh, I would say we probably ended up somewhere around here. Because um, we went south to get to the 16. So yeah, I'd say we did start on this road. I'm going to head toward that intersection again, that first one we saw. So I guess, I guess the sand, yeah, we are pretty close to water here. Not exactly the ocean, but um, a lake, I guess. So, anyway, um, I need to get the street names just to confirm I have the right place. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to pinpoint this either. It's going to be close for sure. Okay, the streets. Is that what it is? Yes, it is. So, based on that, we are um, just at a curve here. There's a little turn off. The road is curving. Oh, come on. We're going to be here. Actually, it might be there. I don't know. Crap. Oh, it was there. Why did I move it? Ugh. That sucks. Damn it, I didn't think we were so close to this other town, but I guess we were. Had I gone the other way, that might have even been easier to figure out. But, 4944, 611 meters, I'll take that any day, that is awesome. Great way to start this out. Alright, next round, let's keep it up. We aren't doing so badly. I would like to get at least one perfect score, it should be possible, I almost had it with that one. Um, but I just made a stupid last minute choice. So, I should be able to get a perfect score. That's the goal. At least one. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, that's blurred out. How about these? Jeterup is six to our east. Um, Alright, and what is this other sign? I don't know what it says. Bjergstead is in three to the north. Okay, black screen. No good. Um, anyway, we have this. Jeterup. Jeterup. Whatever. Um... So we've got that, Jider up, and Jergstead, I think. So, we have two town names, not really familiar with them, so hopefully another signpost will show up somewhere. 
it seems like we're quite isolated here. This is a very small road. Um, okay, what's this? Ah, just the same signs. So we're heading toward Bjergstead right now. Um, so hopefully they'll have some stuff in the town. And we can use that to figure it out. I don't know, this one's looking pretty tricky. Definitely seems tricky to me. Alright, looks like this might be the town that we're coming into here. So let's hope a major road passes through here and we can get some better directional signs to bigger towns that I've actually heard of. Oh, this looks good. Come on. Yeah, this has got to have something. Um, there it is. Kovenaven. Um So, on the 23, I think. Is that this? Do they spell it like that? They must, right? It must be. Okay, I need some more towns. I'm kind of confused right now. Um, let's get to this larger thing. 23. That's the road number. 23. Um, Kalenborg. Where is the 23? I don't see it. I see 25, 24. Oh, come on. Where's 23? 22? Come on, where's 23? There it is. There's Jeter up as well. Um, okay, so we must have been around here. Where's Bjergstead? Oh, I don't see it. Okay, well, we were close. Okay, 4369, we were over here. Oh yeah, there it is. So, could have gone better. Had I made it to that roundabout sooner, um, I think I could have narrowed that down faster, but we just didn't have exactly enough time to get my bearings there. Um, so, there we go. 4369, not terrible. I'll take it, um, but we can definitely do better. Uh, let's see, I'll go this way. This seems like a pretty large road, so hopefully we have some stuff, and we do. So the 24, we're junctioning with it. Um, Reeb is the town to our west, apparently. So that is something. And we also have this great sign. Excellent. Uh, so let's get to the 24, then, and take a look. Now, I saw that over here before, so here's Reeb. Um, so I would say we're probably here on the 179. Maybe one of these other roads. Um, do we have any street names? We know this one. Um, but how about this road? Uh, I want to get over to that white sign. How do I get over there? Now I'm just going to see if that kind of matches up generally. Toft. Yeah, that is this. Okay, good. So uh, we will start right about there somewhere. Um, we've got a house just to our south and no other really distinguishing landmarks. We do have a little turn off here. Maybe that'll show up on the map. Does it? I bet that's for this. So if that's the case then we'll start maybe around there. Uh, how far was the bend in the road? Not, not very, not very far at all, is it? We can kind of almost see it up there. So, yeah, we do have this one house here, um, which is probably that, actually. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna click there, and. We'll see if that's right. I want to see where this turnoff is, too, for Godthavage, or whatever it says. Um, if I can figure out how far that turn is, which I think I might have just passed. Yeah, there it is. So, um, we know that this house is the first one after the turnoff, which is that one, so I do have it in the right place. So, I'm pretty happy going where I've clicked. Move it a little bit up. That looks good to me. Let's do it.
Oh no, it was even further. 16 meters, so close. So close to a perfect score. That is... Oh, that's annoying. I think I did a pretty good job trying to pinpoint there, at least, on this long, straight section of road. That was a fun round. Uh, we had good information very close, and then it just became a matter of pinpointing it, which I almost had. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Alright. Which way do I go here? I'm gonna head this way. Seems like we're going into a town here, of Rude's Vedby. Alright, so we've got a town. Towns are always good at having directional signs, so... Shouldn't be too bad. I think I just passed a couple. Yeah, here we go. So, Kalundborg is 27 kilometers to the west. Uh, and we are on some smaller roads here, aren't we? Uh, what is this other town? 20 kilometers away. I can't get to read it. It's all blurred out. Maybe back here. Soro. Okay, so... Soro and Kalundborg. Let's see... If those show up on the map, because if so, that'll be easier, um, easier than just looking for better signs. Sorrow, sorrow. This might be a terrible idea, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, wait, Rude's Vedby. That's the town we just entered, isn't it? Um... Yeah, there's Soro and Kalenborg. Well, that's convenient. Um, so yeah, we started... Where did we start? Kind of east, northeast-ish of the town. Um, we've got this little road here. Can't really make out what it says, but... Uh, hopefully, heading back this way, I should be able to get some better road names. Um, so this one is Salmarksvej. So, that's not this. So where did we come from then? Would have thought this is it. It seems to line up pretty well, but maybe not. Maybe the roads are just misnamed on the map or something. Um, let's get some other stuff. Because that should make sense. That makes a lot of sense. But, I mean, let's see here. The street name's blurred out. That's always great. So, it's got to be... No, it, we've got to be on this road. There's no other road we could be on. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's it's got to be here. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, it must be. So... Uh, yeah, I'll click right about there, because the turnoff is here. Yeah, must be. Oh, come on, you've got to be kidding me. How was that 16... Oh my god, there's no way that... Come on, give me the perfect score, GeoGuessr. That's... Oh, that's so annoying. Two times in a row. Let's get a perfect score here. I'm dying to get one now. That's just crazy. Totally cheated out of that. Um, Holstebro, Herning, and Skeev on the 34. Um, Holstebro's here, I've heard of that. Um, here's the 34, there's Skeev, and Herning is probably around here somewhere. So, let's get to this roundabout actually, try and work this out better. We are heading west right now. Uh, if we go to the north, it's Skeev, 38 kilometers away. So we'll be down here. Oh yeah, there's Herning. So, um, north is Skeev. Holstebro is how many? 27 away on the 185. Here's the 185. So, I'd say we must have started around here then. Um, yeah, let's get back to the start. And we are right in front of this little turnoff, which is very convenient. Is there a road name? No. There's a 2 3. I don't know what that is, but um, we are very close to the roundabout, so we should be able to find that. I would say that's this. Most likely. So if I click there, we should be good. I should get a perfect score here. Uh, shouldn't be like last time where I was absolutely just cheated out of that. That was 
complete crap. But anyway, here we go. Let's go. Thank you, GeoGuessr. Finally, a uh, perfect score there in the last round. We could have had three in a row. Um, just somehow I screwed up the last two. I don't, I don't even know what happened. But overall, 24-3-1-1. Very, very happy with this result. Uh, we figured out basically every round. So if you guys enjoyed this country spotlight, leave a like down below. Stay tuned for some more videos. So the next country spotlight will be Brazil. That was another viewer suggestion on yesterday's video. Uh, but yeah, that'll be next. So thanks for watching. Thanks for playing along as well. And I will see you guys next time.